everybody! So the, today is Monday, that means it's time for Movie Monday, and this is a series created by Emily Boone, and uh, it's a lot of fun. And this week's topic is uh, Tim Burton movies, and we just recently had Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. If you follow my channel, you know I did not like that movie. I thought it was extremely dull with tons of exposition, and uh, and I don't know, I just I didn't care for it at all. Uh, and I have not liked most of his recent movies. I, I did like Frank and Weenie, but aside from that, uh, he's created a lot of really some of my least favorite movies uh, in things like Dark Shadows. I hated his Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I really don't like his Planet of the Apes movie. Uh, there's just a lot of big time stinkers in a row. I, I'm not a big fan of his Alice in Wonderland. So a lot of films I don't like from, from Tim Burton. Uh, but he did have a long time where I did like his films and I did like his style. Uh, I just feel like he's gotten in kind of a, a rut uh, adapting uh, these properties for, for people and he needs to get back to his original creative storytelling. I also did a post on my blog of how to fix Tim Burton with some things that I wish that he would uh, implement and try to do differently some advice that if somebody were to ask me what I would do. So I'll put a link down to that blog if you want to check it out. Uh, but my number five uh, favorite Tim Burton movie is Beetlejuice. This is amazing. You want a cigarette? Oh, no, thank you. Oh, yeah, here I come, baby. He's guaranteed to put some life... Attention, King Workshoppers. ...in your afterlife. Michael Keaton is Beetlejuice. And honestly, I haven't seen this in a long time. I did not have time to rewatch it this week. Uh, but this movie is is funny, it's scary, and it's got great atmosphere, great performances, especially from Michael Keaton. Uh, and so yeah, I'd have to watch it again to see if it really holds up. But in my memory, at least, I, I felt like that deserved to be number five. So number four for me is Frank and Weenie. I can fix that. And I just recently reviewed this on my channel for Disney Scares Month. This movie has so much heart. It's so sweet. The relation between Victor and his dog and Sparky and how much he misses his dog, how sad he is. And uh, the story kind of goes from there. I love the black and white in the animation. I love all the vocal performances. I love the, like I said, just the story and all the heart that it has. And I'm not even a pet owner and I, I still just quite love it very much. Number three favorite is Edward Scissorhands. Skewered kid. Just a scratch. The power of Satan is in him. I can feel it. Your All along, I felt in my gut there was something wrong with him. From Tim Burton comes the most incredible tale of a most unusual character. Edward Scissorhands. And this was back when Johnny Depp and Tim Burton created good movies together and uh, this is a movie that also has a ton of heart you know about this sort of misfit uh, who is created by the Vincent Price character uh, and he ends up meeting Winona Ryder and he has these scissors as hands and you just got some great scenes like when he sculpts uh, when he creates the ice sculpture uh, when he's cutting everybody's hair uh, things like that and uh, you know if you got Tim Burton sort of uh, skewering of suburbia and sort of suburban and values is really really good and uh, yeah it's a it's a great movie with the great Danny Elfman score as well and so then my second favorite Tim Burton movie is Corpse Bride the Corpse Bride instead you may kiss the bride from Tim Burton creator of the nightmare before Christmas <gasps> Maggots. <laughs> Comes a tale of wit, charm, and strife. I'm not dead. About a timid young man and the love of his life. Victoria! 
Tim Burton's Corpse Bride. And of course I'm an animation girl, so that's going to be high up on the list. I love the fact that all three of the main characters are all very likable. You're rooting for all three, you like all three, and uh, the animation is just so beautiful and the songs are so good. Uh, by Danny Elfman. I love them. I love how you can get character development from Victor just by him playing this his suite, the Victor suite, which is beautiful. Number one favorite Tim Burton movie is Ed Wood. Unforgettable filmmaker. We're making another movie. I got the Church of Beverly Hills to put up the cash. How do you get all your friends to get baptized just so you can make a monster movie? And his legacy that will live forever. How do you burn this up? Shake his legs around. Looks like he's killing. Oh! This is the one. This is the one I'll be remembered for. Ed Wood, a Tim Burton film. Really? Worst film you ever saw. Well, my next one will be better. And uh, this is also another one with Johnny Depp. Uh, but this is different. He doesn't have like the white makeup and stuff like that. And this is about notoriously bad filmmaker Ed Wood and uh, his sort of life. And, and I love movies about work and I love sort of themes about work. And in Ed Wood, you really, you see a person who, you know, you, people always say, go after your dreams, uh, follow your dreams. But in Ed Wood's case, he's really bad at his dreams, <laughs> which is kind of interesting. And so should you go after your dreams if you're really bad at it? And it, 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 he's just so you, you have to say yes because he's so passionate and he's so excited and he's so happy that how can you deny somebody kind of that happiness and uh, you know I just love the way that like they show him kind of creating these movies and and uh, Bella and uh, Martin Lando is so good as uh, Bella Lugosi the whole, the whole cast is great Bill Murray's in it he's wonderful and uh, you know you just see him uh, that he, he would give one take for the, for these shots and uh, you could see why they're pretty pretty bad and uh, he he's just so enthusiastic that you can't help but just sort of love him and love his passion for what he does even if it is bad and so yeah edward's my favorite uh, so those are my five favorite tim burton movies uh what are your five favorite uh, put in the comment section what do you think of these five and uh yeah just participate in the movie monday i think you'll really enjoy it uh but thanks so much please subscribe to my channel and i'll talk to you later bye